chair of this morning's event. On behalf of the Williamsville Education Foundation, I would like to welcome you to our Williamsville Wall of Fame breakfast. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still musicians who have entertained us today from the East High School String Quartet under the direction of Orchestra Director Wayne Moose and East High School Vocal Students under the direction of Chorus Director Maureen Riley. Thanks to Instructional Specialist Mike Russo for coordinating the music events. They were great, weren't they? Let's send them back to school with one more round of applause. This breakfast is a biannual event dating back to the year 2000, where we honor some exceptional individuals who have the unique distinction of having graduated from one of the three high schools in the Williamsville Central School District. To our inductees and their families and friends, we are delighted that you are able to join us this morning. Some of you have come a considerable distance, and we really appreciate that. You have been chosen for this honor because of your accomplishments and your contributions to your field and to your communities. Later today, when you speak at your respective alma maters, I am confident that you will be perceived as impressive, positive role models for our current students. The Williamsville Education Foundation is a not-for-profit organization made up of community members and business leaders who believe that educating our children well is a critical community priority. We raise money to provide teachers with mini grants for innovative and worthy projects or programs that might not be funded due to the constraints of the school district budget. However, our biggest achievement to date was to secure the funding of the digitization of the district planetarium several years ago. This event is a significant fundraiser for these endeavors. We are happy to take any and all contributions at any time, and we are very thankful for our corporate sponsors. Please check out the names on the program to see those businesses and individuals who have supported this event. We like to encourage our friends to support those who have supported us. 
I would like to welcome some special guests who are joining us this morning. Representing the Williamsville Central School District Board of Education are Tony Vasquez and Sean LeMay, the president. Please stand. We also welcome Ray Walter, State Assemblyman, who has special citations for the uh, recipients. Uh, Ray, would you please stand? There are former inductees to the Wall of Fame here with us today as well. They are Trey Meeser, Lenora Foote, Tori Hirsch, Andy Chevelle, John Eske, Kara Pascalia, and Bob Kinko. Would you please stand? I'm especially pleased to see Bob Kinkle here because the year he was inducted, he was busy with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, which is his project and he wasn't able to make his own induction. So this is actually his first time being at a Williamsville Wall of Fame event. This event doesn't happen by magic, it's more like wedding planning. The foundation board members are engaged in this event in many ways. Special thanks to President Jeff Katz, Dick Kitzkes, former Foundation President Trey Meeser, and Rita Wolf, Director of Communications for the School District, who have provided invaluable support to this event in many, many ways, as usual. Now I'd like to introduce our Master of Ceremonies, the Superintendent of the Williamsville Central School District, Dr. Scott Martzloff. This is Scott's seventh year with us, a Rochester native, Dr. Martzloff graduated from the College of the Holy Cross in Massachusetts where he played Division I basketball. <coughs> Excuse me. He played pro basketball in Europe for two years before returning home to pursue a career in education. He earned his master's degree in educational administration from SUNY Brockport and his doctorate of education from the University of Rochester. He and his wife, Kim, have three children attending Williamsville schools. I am pleased to introduce our Master of Ceremonies this morning, Dr. Scott Marshall. Thank you, Mrs. Giambra, and thank you for everything you have done and continue to do on behalf of the Williamsville School District community. Good morning, everyone. I'm excited to serve as the Master of Ceremonies for this very special event, which celebrates outstanding education in Williamsville Central Schools and the exceptional contributions of our graduates. I would like to begin by acknowledging the Williamsville Education Foundation, which hosts this biannual Wall of Fame induction. With public funding for education constantly facing challenges, school districts, including Williamsville, look to do more with less while providing students an innovative and high quality education. The Williamsville Education Foundation has been a fantastic partner with us, investing in our kids by funding learning opportunities for students that otherwise would not be possible due to budget limitations. On behalf of the school district, I am grateful to the Foundation's Board of Directors, past and present, for all the work they do on behalf of our schools and our students. The incredible achievements of this year's Wall of Fame honorees serve as a powerful reminder of the importance of public education. Each of these 12 individuals have made significant and meaningful contributions to our society, and today, we celebrate their lives, their accomplishments, and indeed, the sacrifices they have made along the way. These women and men are role models for our young people, who at this very moment are sitting in the same classrooms where they once sat. As we honor our 2017 Wall of Fame inductees today, 
We do so to make sure their enthusiasm for learning, their commitment to public service, and their standard of excellence in all that they do serve as an inspiration to our students today. At the conclusion of our program this morning, they will be guests of honor at their respective alma maters and will speak to students about their personal journey from a Williamsville classroom to where they are today. Let's begin our introductions with inductees from Williamsville South High School, which also represents the district's original school building dating back over a century. Life has changed beyond recognition from then, and a hundred years from now, how we live our lives today will be unrecognizable to future generations. But your work, what you have accomplished, will stand as a testament to this era and provide a generational blueprint for all those who come after us. I ask that after I finish your introduction, you come forward to accept a plaque from the Foundation's president, Jeffrey Katz, as well as a small gift from the school district. And if you wish, please take a few moments at the microphone to our, address our guests this morning. Our first 2017 inductee to the Williamsville Wall of Fame is Bridget Nyland. She is a 1990 graduate of South High School. Ms. Nyland is the Director of Athletics and Associate Professor for Business Administration at Damon College, where she has worked since 2006. Ms. Nyland is only the second female to serve as a collegiate athletic director in Western New York history. Ms. Nyland was a Division I cross country and track undergraduate athlete at the University of Buffalo, where she also earned a master's degree and a law degree. She has a strong family pedigree in college athletics. Her late father, Joe, is a member of the Greater Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame, having coached basketball at Canisius College for many years and being a pro scout for both the NBA and Major League Baseball. Both of her brothers are currently head coaches for college men's basketball teams. So it was no surprise that a few years after earning her law degree, Bridget embraced the opportunity to work for the NCAA in Indianapolis, a job that allowed her to combine her passions for sports, law, and college athletics. When she returned to Buffalo to join the Damon faculty, her experience with the NCAA proved very helpful as the college pursued Division II membership. She remains a consultant for the NCAA on legislative issues for Division I schools. Ms. Nyland is a member of the UB Athletics Hall of Fame and is currently pursuing a doctorate in educational leadership and policy at UB. Her love of family, love of her hometown, and love of sports fuel her relentless drive to make a positive impact on the lives of young athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating Ms. Bridget Nyland. I'm going to be extremely brief, which is very hard for me to do. So Brian, <laughs> finger on the nose, I'm going on too long. Um, we have a long uh, uh, morning and I don't want to take up too much time. I guess what I want to say to all the people in this room is, first and foremost, thank you. Um, uh, Dr. Marsloff talked about my family. I, I come from an incredible family. My sister, my oldest sister has been my surrogate mom. Um, she's probably spent more time with me than any individual, my brother-in-law. They often got confused as my parents, and my parents were my grandparents, and my father loved that. Um, but my father would have been 100 this past uh, Tuesday. I miss him dearly. Uh, he was a great man. So first and foremost, my parents. But I want to talk about the second family that you get to get in life. And that's everyone in this room, and especially the teachers. And I, I can't say this enough as I moved into education and have my large family of my own. You give up so much to spend time with other people's children. And I just hope that you get to see the same type of pride and joy in all of us that are standing up here tonight, or today, 
that you have with your own children, and I want to thank you. My Williams of South family has been incredible. I kind of laughed that we couldn't, the, they weren't sure which um, ribbon to get, and I think that's because at one point I was supposed to attend each of the three high schools, and I got in a little bit of trouble with the district when I kept crossing Maple Road to get to the South bus. Um, so I think that's a little bit symbolic. Um, the other person that I, I that can't be here with us today, and I want to, I was going to give him a little bit of a razzing by using a Hillary Clinton co uh, quote, is Chuck Godfrey. And if you know Chuck Godfrey, there would have been a lot of razzing going on by quoting Hillary Clinton. But it truly does take a village, and those villages go without your, throughout your life. But the first village I ever had was in Winslow <coughs> South. Everybody from Coach Lester to Mary Ferenzi to, I can't even mention how many people that were so fundamental in, in really giving me such a great foundation. And I was able to take that foundation over to the University of Buffalo to who really is my second father, Dick Berry, who's going to be inducted to the Wimsel East Sports Hall of Fame today. I came from Florida, so let's give him a quick round of applause. Uh, and then, you know, the NCAA families, those families that you get, you get that sense of family by going south because it became, wherever you go, you take that building a sense of family with you. And my most recent family is the Damon College family, which is in the back. Those guys are incredible people. I'm making a career move, and I, it may be sad to leave all of them, but I know, I hope that I've instilled in them what Williams of South instilled in me, and that you build a team wherever you go, and your number one focus is doing good. And so, if we can all keep that Williams of South Billy greatness, and go out and do good in the world, um, and the Spartans and the Flames are okay, too. <laughs> Our next inductee from Williamsville South is Mark Petiri, a 1985 graduate. Detective Petiri is with the Amherst Police Department's Special Victims Unit and investigates cases involving sexual assault, domestic abuse, and crimes against children and the elderly. I am sure many of us think we know exactly what Detective Petiri does because we watch Law & Order SVU. I'm also quite sure Detective P Petiri would set us all straight about the realities of his job versus how it is portrayed by Hollywood. Early in his career, he was a DARE officer, which stands for Drug Abuse Resistance Education. He would visit middle schools and teach fifth graders about the dangers of drug and alcohol abuse while helping them develop the much needed skills to make the right choices. He previously worked with the Family Offense Unit, dealing with families in crisis, and as a trained hostage negotiator for the APD. Detective Petiri volunteers for the Western New York Stress Reduction Program, assisting officers who are experiencing a personal or work-related anxiety. He also oversees the Amherst Youth Court Program that provides interested high school students a glimpse into the inner workings of our justice system. It's easy to forget all the hard work and sacrifices police officers make for their communities on a daily basis, until we need their help, that is. With his induction today, Mark is the second police officer on the Williamsville Wall of Fame, joining his boss, Chief John Askey, a North High grad who was inducted in 2011. Please join me in congratulating Detective Mark Petiri. I will uh, be a little bit briefer than, than Bridget. Uh, I was told by my kids and uh, wife not to uh, get too wordy because I don't want to embarrass anybody. Um, I just want to thank the foundation and all the sponsors for uh, this great honor. I'm uh, humbled. Um, I never thought uh, I would be in this position. Um, extremely honored to give back to my community. I've always tried to uh, do the best. Um, that I could and give back. Not only to South, I work uh, closely with the schools, um, just where my cases take me. Uh, a lot of my cases are for, uh, with the schools, juveniles, and uh, helping people with, uh, with child abuse and uh, all the sex crimes. 
So it's been uh, very humbling for me to be standing up here. Never thought I would be in this position. Uh, just want to thank you again. And I'd also like to thank uh, my parents who are uh, <clears throat> lucky enough to be here. Um, showed me the way, uh, how to act, to be a man and the person I am. Thank you. Our third inductee from Waynesville South is 1998 graduate Lindsay Ann Shookus. Lindsay is a producer at Saturday Night Live. She has won two Emmys for her work on the legendary Light Night Show, which first aired in 1975, five years before she was even born. <laughs> Lindsay credits her upbringing in Western New York, her family, friends, and her years at South High with instilling the values and work ethic that drive her today. She joined SNL shortly after graduating from the University of North Carolina with a degree in journalism. It was an entry-level position filled with <coughs> gopher tasks, but during her first week on the job, she met Matt Damon and Bruce Springsteen, so she probably figured the perks outweighed the grunt work and stuck it out. SNL creator Lauren Michaels is considered by many in the entertainment industry to be a genius when it comes to spotting talent, and Lindsay was no exception. She soon became the go-to person, at taking on more responsibility and ascending the behind-the-scenes ladder at SNL. Today, she heads the department that books and hosts the musical acts for the show. Among her notable triumphs, are discovering cast members Kate McKinnon and Kristen Wiig, and booking Grammy Award winner Sam Smith for his first album was before his first album was even released. Lindsay has succeeded in an industry that is not known for its kind and gentle ways. Yet Lindsay handles the high-profile nature of her profession with great competence, a sense of humor, and an abundance of grace. While it is hard to fathom that any award could compare to her two gold statues, I hope her induction to the Williamsville Wall of Fame becomes her sentimental favorite. Please join me in congratulating Lindsay Ann Shookus. This definitely compares, let me tell you something. Um, well, thank you so much. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I, I got up at 5.30 this morning to kind of polish my remarks for the high school, and I really <laughs> I didn't realize that this was also something we'd be doing. So, um, But uh, let me just start off by saying um, thank you so much. Thank you to uh, the board, to the foundation, to Williamsville, the town. Congratulations to the other recipients here. It's, it's truly such an honor, and I'm so thankful and grateful to be standing up here today. Um, I am standing here, I see Mr. Lester, and Mrs. Homer, and Mr. Paolini, who I now realize I am old enough where I could call them by their, their first names, but come on, I gotta, gotta stick with what I know here. And, um, but I feel so blessed. They were uh, teachers that really influenced me at my time at South. And in fact, Mrs. Homer and I, about, I guess, 19 years ago, I was the president of the Student Recognition Council that started that year, and Mrs. Homer and I uh, were kind of along the first group to kind of come up with the rules for the, the Hall of Fame, and who could it be, and how, you know, how many years did you have to leave uh, your school before you could be nominated. And, um, so it's really, truly like a real special moment for me to now receive this plaque that we kind of were dreaming about 20 years ago. Um, I'll just share this. One thing that uh, I, know, I, mean, I want to touch on today when I, when I talk to the kids at South is, is how important kindness is and how much it, it kind of uh, has helped me in my career, being kind to people, being respectful, being fair. You know, as you said, it's a, it's a career, uh, my, the industry isn't necessarily a career that's, that people think of, of, of kindness and, and, and goodness, but I find that 
the, one of the reasons I got to where I am is by being really kind and good to people. And it's, that's something that I really learned from my family, from this town, from my school, that it is, you can be great and you can be kind. And, and it's, it only helps elevate you. Kindness makes us all better. And, and um, I really feel like that came from my upbringing here and my upbringing from my family. My mom and dad, my sister are here, my daughter, is uh, not listening to me, she's on an iPad in the back. Uh, <laughs> not really interested in what mom has to say. Uh, my cousin Kate is here and I thank them, I thank all of you, I obviously haven't met most of you, but I know that like you instilled the same kind of values into your children and into your students and I believe like that's a huge part of why I'm here today, to, to be good to people and that helps you get ahead and um, I feel really, really proud of, of the career I've developed and I feel proud that it, I came from this small, wonderful town and um, yes, thank you so much and I, congratulations again to all the other uh, recipients. Our final inductee from Williamsville South is Ronald Schubert a 1970 graduate who is an attorney and partner at Phillips Lytle, one of Buffalo's largest law firms. Mr. Schubert specializes in community association and real estate law and was recently named the recipient of the 2018 Western New York Lawyer of the Year Award in the field of real estate by Best Lawyers in America, an award he won previously in 2014. I would like to take the opportunity to highlight Mr. Schubert's thoughtful leadership and dedicated service to Williamsville Central Schools as a member of the Board of Education for 17 years. Throughout his tenure on the school board, Mr. Schubert based his decisions solely on doing what is best for children, not on politics or what was popular. During his time on the board, including three years as president and two as vice president, every school and support facility in the district was renovated or improved, instructional programming was enhanced, class sizes were reduced, and extracurricular activities were expanded. Mr. Schubert brought a unique perspective to the table, both as a former student and as a parent. He was a fierce advocate for youth wellness and always supported programs that benefited the mental and emotional health of students. In large part, because of his efforts, Williamsville now has a social worker and a school psychologist in every school. His selfless service, leadership, and vision for the future have created a lasting legacy that will have a positive impact on generations of Williamsville students to come. I worked closely with Mr. Schubert for seven years and could always depend on his student-focused conviction to help set the future course for our schools. Thank you, Ron, for all you have done on behalf of Williamsville Schools. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ron Schubert. Actually had to write a couple notes down because I'm not too good speaking except uranuously. I don't know what the problem there is, but uh, I first of all, of course, would like to thank uh, Williamsville Central School District and the Williamsville Education Foundation for the honor of being inducted today in the into the Williamsville Wall of Fame. Um, this is a great event, and I'm, I'm I'm incredibly honored. Williamsville has been a part of my life for the past 53 years. First as a student followed by my election to the Board of Education in 1999, which began 17 years of, of service on the school board. I'm also the proud parent of a Williamsville student. Um, my daughter, Allison, is, is with us uh, today. And she also is a graduate of Williamsville South, class of 2010. I'm both humbled and excited about this honor. I look forward to returning to South High School later today uh, later actually this morning and my congratulations to all the honorees here today and I thank all of you. Thanks very much.
It is now my privilege to introduce the four inductees from Williamsville North High School. Our first Wall of Fame honoree from North is Dr. Mark Feinberg, a 1985 graduate. Dr. Feinberg is Chief of Sports Medicine and Associate Professor of Clinical Orthopedics in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at the State University of New York at Buffalo. He is also the team orthopedist for the Buffalo Bills, head team physician for the Buffalo Sabres, and team physician for the UB Bulls. With both Buffalo Pro Teams and the UB Bulls all playing at this time of year, it is definitely Dr. Feinberg's busy season. We are lucky that the Bills and Sabres are playing at home this weekend or he may not have been able to be here with us this morning. After graduating from Northwestern University Medical School in Chicago, Dr. Feinberg completed a five-year orthopedic surgery residency program at the U New York University Medical Center and a sports medicine fellowship through Harvard Medical School of Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. He brought his impressive educational and training pedigree back to Western New York, joining the UB faculty in 1999. Dr. Feinberg is board certified in orthopedic surgery with a subspecialty certificate in orthopedic sports medicine. He maintains a busy clinical practice and performs over 500 surgeries each year, specializing in arthroscopic knee and shoulder reconstruction, as well as advanced techniques for major tendon and ligament repairs. Dr. Feinberg has served as an educator and mentor to countless orthopedic residents and fellows, primary care physicians, and athletic trainers. He has been honored annually at the Castle Conley Top Doctor in Western New York and is an active member of a number of professional organizations, including the NFL and NHL Team Physician Societies. In his spare time, Dr. Feinberg volunteers his skills for community-based sporting events as well as education activities involving sports medicine and athletic training. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Mark Feinberg. I too put some words together here and uh, first of all I want to just thank Williamsville Schools for this honor. This is a really a tremendous honor and I want to congratulate the other recipients. Um, I'm one of four brothers who went to, <coughs> excuse me, went to Heim schools and then went to Williamsville North. <coughs> excuse me. Um, all of us have excelled since those days and really any one of my brothers could have been up here get, sharing uh, their experience with you. Um, my high school years really shaped my life and um, I'm fortunate to have spent my, those years at Williamsville North where I had many great teachers and made so many lifelong friends. I moved away for college uh, during my educational years in college and my medical school training. I went to Syracuse as mentioned. I went to Chicago where I met my wife Stacy, and then I ended up in New York City for five years and then Boston. Um, upon completion of my studies, Stacy and I decided to move back to Buffalo. Selling Buffalo over Chicago was a fairly tall task, but it turned out to be a perfect move for us. I convinced her of what a great place it is to raise our kids and what a great school system the Williamsville school system is, and that was almost 20 years ago. My three kids are all students or past students within the Williamsville schools. My oldest son, Justin, is thriving as an entrepreneurship and real estate major at Syracuse University. My daughter, Sydney, is here. She's an awesome dancer and she's applying to college and is going to have many great choices, and my son, Justin, he has three tests this morning uh, at Wings Valise, so he couldn't make it. He's a volleyball player, a baseball player, and uh, he is certain to have a bright future as well. So many, so many, many, so many of my friends uh, from North, virtually all of them, are successful people. They're family-oriented people, and I still embrace them with open arms today. I see them out regularly, and we have a lot of laughs. Um, and it's great to see that several of our kids are now friends. At work, I gain tremendous uh, pleasure in fixing someone's knee or fixing someone's shoulder or giving them some type of advice to eliminate their pain. What makes it even better is that I can do that for my family, my lifelong friends, and in my hometown community. I also enjoy caring for our teams. When I graduated from Williamsville North, I set a goal of becoming an orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist who can come home and care for his hometown community 
and take care of the teams that he grew up cheering for. I took care of UB football for 15 years. I took care of other teams like the Buffalo Destroyers, the Buffalo Bandits, and now I have the privilege of splitting my time mainly between the Sabres and the Bills, and I firmly believe that the future is bright for both teams. I want to thank my parents, who always emphasized the importance of academics and pursuing lofty goals. I'm so fortunate to have great in-laws who are here visiting with us today. Thanks to my assistant, Mary Jo. Uh, she's run my office since day one and has majorly con contributed to my success. Um, thanks to my awesome wife and kids who bring such love and pleasure to every day of my life. And I'm really looking forward to sharing my personal experiences and hopefully uh, instilling some type of uh, strategy for success with the kids at North after this uh, induction. Thank you very much. Our next inductee from Williamsville North is Sean Gallagher, a 1977 graduate. Mr. Gallagher is currently the Associate General Counsel for Skechers USA Incorporated, a multi-billion dollar footwear company based in Manhattan Beach, California. To my knowledge, he did not bring any freebies to share with us this morning. <laughs> After graduating from high school, Mr. Gallagher joined the United States Navy, serving in the Hospital Corps as an EMT for eight years. Following his military service, he attended SUNY Albany in the University at Buffalo Law School. Early on in his law career, he was a trial attorney and worked locally for small and large firms on cases involving some very high-profile clients. For example, while working with a Buffalo law firm, he handled legal issues for Larry Flint's casino and entertainment enterprises in Los Angeles. The cross-country travel and time away from his family grew tiresome, so when the opportunity became available at Skechers, he took the job and moved his family to the West Coast. Working for a growing global corporation meant dealing with complex international legal issues. In order to better navigate international arbitrations, he obtained a master's degree in international business law from Boston University's executive program and gained admission to the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators in London. In the past decade alone, he has dealt with legal matters from Europe to Asia to South America, each posing unique legal communications and cultural issues. Mr. Gallagher serves on the board of directors for the Skechers Foundation, which provides education and job training, shoes, clothing, fitness, and nutrition guidance to communities in need. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sean Gallagher. I just wanted to thank um, everyone that's responsible for this, the Williamsville Education Foundation and the Williamsville Central Schools. Um, it's uh, a real honor. I'd also like to thank my parents, specifically my mother. When I was a young boy, my father died. I was seven and my mother had five kids and it was in the 60s and she had to get a job. She was in her 30s and she kept it all together. She ended up, we moved out here and um, you know, looking back, it's kind of remarkable the, what she did for all of us. I wanted to make sure I thanked her. She recently passed away. Um, I'd also, when I was in the Navy, I didn't realize when I was here the kind of education you got here. And when I went in the Navy and I began to meet people from all over the country, I was amazed at how little a lot of them knew, quite frankly. So I had to say that I was more impressed as I got older with the kind of uh, education that you got here. And, um, and lastly, I'd also like to thank my wife is here, my daughter, and I'd like to thank Williamsville Central Schools for one more thing. Um, I met my wife when I was 10 years old. We went to Hyam and North together, so thank you for that too, because it's been really, it's been really great. So thank you very much.
Our third honoree from Williamsville North is Dr. Hiroshi Mashimo, a physician scientist who is a principal investigator and faculty member at Harvard Medical School, the Boston VA Healthcare System, and Brigham and Young's Hospital in Boston. Mr. Mashimo, Dr. Mashimo is board certified in internal medicine and gastroenterology. He is an internationally recognized expert in innovative imaging technologies that promise significant advances toward early diagnosis and treatment of gastrointestinal cancers. He also directs basic and translational stem cell research involving cell-based therapies and cancer progression. His interest in molecular physiology and his pioneering research have led to important understandings and advancements in the field of gastrointestinal motility. Gastromotility, which I had to look up, is defined by the movements of the digestive system and the transit of contents within it. He currently serves as director of the Swallowing and Motility Disorders at VA Boston Healthcare and is involved in training and teaching students, residents, and fellows on three medical campuses in the Boston area. Dr. Mashimo has published extensively and has a prodigious record of research support from both government and private sources. He has received numerous recognitions for his work and has been a visiting professor at universities around the world, including Seoul, Korea, Shanghai, China, and Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. He is a sought after presenter and in early September, hosted a session at the World Conference on Esophageal Diseases held in Geneva, Switzerland. Fortunately, he is multilingual and speaks four languages proficiently. Despite his demanding schedule, Dr. Mashimo finds time to volunteer for the Boy Scouts of America and is a dedicated martial artist. Please join me in congratulating Williamsville North alumnus, Dr. Hiroshi Mashimo. Wow, I'm totally flabbergasted. You know, with a name like Roshi Mashimo, I'm not exactly a, a household name here, so I don't know how I belong in that wall of fame. But, um, and you know, unlike, uh, let's say, the Gronk, where I live in Boston, of course, he's a household name. Um, as for honor, you know, I can't think of any other group of people in the, our alumni that deserve more honor than people who served our country, particularly in the military, or dedicate their lives to public service. And for that, I applaud them, because there's no greater honor to such people who have made such sacrifices uh, so that you and I can enjoy the bountiful uh, opportunities that this, this country provides. I, in turn, have the privilege of serving these veterans through the Veterans Administration in Boston. And through that, I find purpose and meaning in my work. But actually, besides the thanks I have to give to the Williamsville schools and the committee, I think it's a chance for me to thank the many teachers that I've had at Williamsville North and through Heim. And I'm happy to sit among Mr. Purcell, Mr. Doherty, and of course even my classmate, Tom DeLucha, who I've known growing up uh, in the neighborhood near Cottonwood where I grew up. And um, it's truly an honor because that's another sector that I really have to thank, give thanks and honor. And I can do no greater honor than to try to follow in their footsteps by making the next generation of physicians and scientists um, presently here at Harvard Medical School and MIT. Thank you very much.
final inductee from North High School is 1978 graduate Richard Scherer. Mr. Scherer is a highly skilled refrigeration mechanic who has excelled in his field, specializing in design build projects for major companies such as Lockheed Martin, Moog, Rich Products, Bell Aerospace, and Kalespan. While Williamsville is widely recognized for academic excellence, our core mission is to help students develop their unique potential in order to succeed in life after they leave our schools, which means not only college readiness, but also career readiness. Mr. Scherer credits many of his middle and high school <coughs> teachers for steering him toward tech ed classes in order to keep him engaged in school. For example, Mill middle teacher Edward Mock introduced the young Rick Scherer to shop classes and showed him how he could fit into the world without getting a white collar job. Mr. Mock also got Rick interested in sports and swimming. When he got to high school, Rick helped supervise a special education swim program and was captain of the North swim team. More than four decades later, he still holds the school record in the 200 IM relay. After graduating from North, he attended Buffalo State Teachers College, was a member of the college swim team, and took courses in industrial arts education. But he eventually decided to pursue his passion and completed a four-year apprenticeship in the HVAC and pipe fitting trades. He has built an incredibly successful career in a high demand industry and remains committed to mentoring others who choose a technical career path. He is grateful to the teachers he had in Williamsville who provided him an alternate pathway to success. I am honored to present to you 2017 Wall of Fame honoree, Mr. Richard Scherer. I'd like to thank you all for this opportunity to be here. I have uh, been included in a, a whole list of fellow classmates that have done outstanding, outstanding things in their lives that earn their place in the Wall of Fame. I'd like to thank the Williamsville School District because over 100 years ago, they just didn't build brick and mortar schools. They built an institution. And within the institution, they hired teachers, but they didn't hire teachers. They hired people with dedication and passion. And those people with dedication and passion get to teach and mentor young students who sometimes don't know the way they want to go in life. They have touched my life. They've given me the skills I have needed to succeed. And this, this award here is is something I will cherish forever, but really it also belongs to all the teachers and principals and assistants that give us guidance because we get to share what they've taught us to others and their legacy will last forever as well. Thank you very much. It is now my privilege to introduce our four inductees from Williamsville East High School. Let's begin with Captain Thomas F. Hurley II, a 1982 graduate who currently works at his alma mater as the high school's library media specialist. Captain Hurley graduated from the State University of New York Maritime College in 1986 and immediately launched a 30-year career in the U.S. Navy and Naval Reserves. He served in many roles throughout his military career, including first lieutenant aboard the USS Fearless and as an anti-submarine warfare officer on the USS Blakely. He has been a training officer, a battle watch captain, deputy commander of the Naval Coastal Warfare Squadron 21, and a liaison officer for the Naval Forces Central Command. His service also included two deployments to the Middle East. Captain Hurley is authorized to wear the Defense Meritorious Service Medal, 
the Meritorious Service Medal, the Navy Commendation Medal, and the Navy Achievement Medal. His first civilian job was as a systems field engineer for Sperry Systems Management Group, working in the Ballistic Missile Submarine Program. He won a fellowship to attend the University of Buffalo, where he earned his master's in library science. He began his career as an educator in Wilson Central Schools before joining the Williamsville team in 1996, first at North High, then moving to East High School in 2009. I wonder what he found more perilous, working with ballistic missiles or teaching high school students. <laughs> He retired from the Navy in June 2016, but remains active in the New York State Naval Militia, currently serving as commander of the Militia's Western Command. We are honored and extremely proud to recognize an outstanding East graduate, a dedicated Williamsville teacher, and one of our nation's finest. Thank you for your service. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Tom Hurley. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Martzloff. Thank you to the Williamsville Education Foundation, and thank you to uh, Williamsville Central Schools. It is kind of a bit surreal to be standing here in front of all of you. Uh, it's almost uh, a little bit of uh, watching your life go by. Uh, particularly, there's several of my, uh, my, my colleagues, past, current, uh, that, are, that are in the room today. I'd like to thank a couple of people in particular, uh, my parents who are here with me this morning, uh, for having the foresight to move out of the city of Buffalo to the Williamsville schools in, I think it was 1967, 1968, allowed me to attend uh, Country Parkway Elementary and then Casey Middle School and then finally Williamsville East High School. Uh, without their foresight to see how great the Williamsville schools were and to move here particularly for the Williamsville schools. I wouldn't be in front of you today. Um, I want to thank you for the honor and privilege of being able to be part of the 1% of people that serve uh, our nation in the armed services. It is an honor and a privilege. And I certainly couldn't have been able to do it without uh, a lot of support from people that are in this room. Uh, I spent plenty of time away from, uh, from Western New York uh, and there were family and extent, extended family and friends that picked up the slack for me to make sure my family was, was in great shape while I was gone. And second, my colleagues for picking up the slack for me at uh, whether it was Waynesville North or Waynesville East. Uh, I could not have served without uh, the support of many of the people that are, that are in this room. Uh, thank you again for the honor. It is a privilege to to serve the country in uniform. It's also a privilege to serve in the Williamsville schools. Uh, I've had the privilege of being a teacher, an administrator, and now I have, I'm a, also a parent. I have two children that went through uh, Williamsville North. Uh, Carrie is with us today. She's uh, currently a junior at uh, Canisius College and senior, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thank you for the privilege to serve you uh, in, in uniform, as well as being able to continue to, uh, to work at the Williamsville Central Schools. It's a great place because of the people that work there and because of our students. Thanks. The next inductee for East High School is Dr. Kyle Macbeth, the lead scientist at a global, at a major global biopharmaceutical corporation. Currently, Dr. Macbeth is Senior Director of Translational Development and Diagnostics for Celgene Corporation in San Francisco. He oversees leading edge scientific research supporting the development of life enhancing medicines for patients with certain types of blood cancers and severe inflammatory diseases. 
Dr. Macbeth graduated ninth in his class from Williamsville East, but we don't use class rank anymore, <laughs> and competed on the state record setting varsity men's gymnastics team throughout high school. He continued his athletic career at the collegiate level as a member of the University of Pittsburgh's Division I men's gymnastics team. In his senior year at Pitt, he was awarded the prestigious Blue and Gold Award, which honors the university's most outstanding scholar athlete. He graduated summa cum laude with a bachelor's degree in microbiology and a minor in chemistry. He then attended Harvard University where he received his PhD in microbiology and molecular genetics. While at Harvard, he was named an Albert J. Ryan Fellow, which honors scientific excellence and promise of future success in biomedical research. For the past 21 years, Dr. Macbeth has dedicated himself to the research and development of therapies for cancer patients. After 10 years as a senior scientist at the Millennium Pharmaceuticals in Cambridge, Massachusetts, he headed west and joined the research team at Celgene. Dr. Macbeth is humble in recognizing how much work still needs to be done in order to improve human health worldwide. We indeed are grateful for the brilliance and dedication he brings to the fight against cancer. May I present 1988 East graduate Kyle Macbeth. Thank you so much for this recognition. Uh, it really is uh, an honor and a humbling experience um, and a joy to share this with all the other inductees who have done such great things in their careers and in serving others. Um, I think you heard this time and again that our ability um, to have the strength to do what we've done uh, comes from the values that were instilled within us from the Williamsville community. There are so many good people here. Um, and for me, that started with my parents who are here. I love you, thank you. Um, a number of really inspirational teachers. Um, you heard of the gymnastics. For me, my uh, coach, Tori Hirsch, is here, um, who is basically one of my heroes, uh, a role model, a mentor, a friend, um, who taught me what teams can accomplish, and so many skills that translate from athletics to real life. Um, like Lindsay, I thought more about what I was going to talk to the students about, um, but what I came to realize what I thought would be important to share with them about what I found um, influential to me today as I did then was the value and importance of connecting to people and participating in teams. Um, and it's the connections to people in this community and the teams that I participated in that gave me the strength to figure out who I was and uh, realize how important it is to serve others. So I feel really blessed to be in the uh, cancer drug development industry to serve cancer patients. Um, I am really honored to be a part of the legacy of Williamsville East and to have this blessing of really feeling connected to you and the Williamsville community. So thank you very much. Our third inductee from Williamsville East is 1990 graduate Peter Olson. Mr. Olson is a senior vice president in the commercial banking division at M&T Bank where he has worked for 20 years. Mr. Olson's activities as a high school student were early predictors of what his future would hold. The young Olson was senior class treasurer and served as treasurer for the East Wind Ensemble. Today, he is a respected banker and trusted with handling amounts of money that, I'm sure, far exceeded the funds he managed back in high school. <laughs> While a student at East, he was co-captain of the varsity soccer team and was named to the 1989 All-Western New York soccer team. Through most of his adult life, Mr. Olson has coached youth soccer and holds a U.S. Soccer Federation B license. He served as a staff coach in the Olympic Development Program for seven years. He is an Eagle Scout 
which speaks to his leadership skills and his commitment to community service. Mr. Olson currently co-chairs M&T Bank's sponsorship committee and is chair of the Board of Elders for his church, where he also coordinates the youth group. He was a big brother in the Be a Friend program for over 10 years, and he works with the East High PTSA each year to award the Johannes I. Olson Scholarship, named after his late father, who was the high school's first principal. Mr. Olson is also active in the Miami University of Ohio Alumni Association and devotes many hours participating in local college fairs and various recruiting events representing the university. Much like his beloved father, Peter has had a positive impact on the lives of countless young people in our community. Congratulations, Mr. Peter Olson. Thank you very much. I um, uh, appreciate uh, this honor uh, and uh, very uh, happy uh, to be recognized um, and appreciate the, the foundation, the school district, uh, and most of all, East High School. Uh, I'm a very proud alumni um, and uh, so proud to be part of the group here uh, and all the other inductees. Um, I'm also thrilled my family's here. Uh, and Mark, like you, uh, I've got a brother and uh, three sisters who uh, all could be up here themselves. Uh, thanks to my mom and uh, also want to say uh, that I'm proud now to continue ex my experience at East as my oldest daughter is a sophomore there uh, and my youngest one will be there next year. So uh, I'm glad uh, I got a chance to sit next to Mr. Scanzuzo today so that we could uh, make sure that we've got a good report card and that he watches over him pretty well. <laughs> I also want to say thank you, especially uh, in high school, you've got a lot of people who uh, influence you, uh, and probably the person that influenced me the most was Coach Librock. Uh, he certainly uh, was the reason I got into coaching, uh, and that's a big part of my life. It was a big part of my life until my kids started playing, so, uh, and now I watch them. So I say that uh, I gave up coaching, and uh, I've got my lawn chair. I complain about the coaches and scream at the rest. So. <laughs> Uh, but, but thank you, Mr. Librock. I also um, am so grateful for my work family from M&T. Uh, I've been there 21 years. Uh, I never thought I'd be any place that long, uh, but it's been a great place, and I'm, I've had a great boss and a great mentor uh, for many of those years in, uh, in my boss, Michelle. So um, thank you very much, and uh, congratulations to all the winners. Our final inductee from Williamsville East is 1983 graduate Stephen Weiss. Mr. Weiss is a founding partner in the law firm of Cannon, Heyman, and Weiss, a practice that focuses on affordable housing and community development law, specializing in low-income housing tax credit program and other federal and state tax incentives. With offices in Buffalo and Albany, his firm works with clients across New York State and the country. His expertise in real estate syndication and tax credits led to his appointment by Governor Andrew Cuomo to the New York State Housing Finance Agency. During his six-year tenure with the HFA, which ended this past June, he served as vice chair and chair of the Governance Committee. Mr. Weiss is passionate about improving people's lives, revitalizing communities, and historic preservation. All of his professional and communal efforts support these passions. His law firm has worked on some of the most significant restoration developments in Buffalo, including Babeville and Asbury Hall, the Olmstead Richardson Complex, and the Roswell Park Clinical Science Center. He is currently a member of the Trustees Council for the Preservation League of New York State and a former trustee and board chair for Preservation Buffalo Niagara. He is president and board chair for the Buffalo Jewish Federation and serves as a board member of the Jewish Federation of North America. He is also a member of the Roswell Park Institute, Institute Board of Directors. Through his legal practice and his community service efforts, his influence is far reaching, well beyond Western New York. But first and foremost, his work 
has had a palpable impact right here in his hometown as a key player in Buffalo's renaissance. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce our final 2017 Wall of Fame honoree, Mr. Stephen Weiss. Good morning and thank you as one of the last people standing between you and the parking lot. I'm going to be very, very brief. Uh, I, I want to, first of all, I'm humbled to receive this award. It's an amazing recognition and I'm, and I'm grateful to the foundation uh, and to the school district and uh, thank you very much for that. Um, uh, I want to say that as a product of public education, I think it's one of the greatest gifts that, uh, that not only that I have but that we gave our children. My wife also is a graduate of Williamsville East High School, and although we didn't meet in high school, I knew of her, and uh, I was too timid to uh, ask her out until after we, uh, after graduation. Uh, I want to acknowledge my family that is here, my, my folks, my in-laws, and in particular my wife, and there are a number of people uh, from within the communities that I uh, participate in, the volunteer work that I do that are here, and I want to thank them for being here as well. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Well, I am grateful to have had the opportunity to introduce these extraordinary people. Each of you represents a point of pride for our entire community, and we are truly honored to claim you as Williamsville graduates. One of the perks of my job is the opportunity I have to work with parents and community members who value the importance of quality schools and believe that all children should be given the opportunity to maximize their individual potential. People like Mr. Jeff Katz, president of the Waynesville Education Foundation. Jeff is a 1977 graduate of East High and is a Williamsville booster to the core. To wrap things up this morning, it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Jeff Katz. Thank you, Scott, for helping out and for all you do uh, for the district. I just want to say before we conclude, for all of the honorees, please come back up, uh, meet in the center here. We're going to take a group photo, which is a tradition, which we will have. Uh, as we conclude today's program, one of the uh, really meaningful things that uh, the honorees get to do is go to the schools and present their philosophy, their experience, and try and uh, instill a little bit of their background and, and hopes and dreams for the future with our uh, uh, with the high school, current high school students. That's a very meaningful part of this whole program, and we thank them for their time that they do that. At this point, uh, it wouldn't be a good president of the foundation if I didn't mention what we do, and also that we are always looking for money. So the Williamsville Education Foundation is a not-for-profit uh, organization with the sole purpose of supporting the Williamsville School District. We can see the wonderful things that the district does and the wonderful uh, students and, uh, that get produced. So if anybody ever has an opportunity to influence somebody with a legacy gift or any out, outright gifts on a regular basis, uh, with the money that comes into the Williamsville Education Foundation is 100% dedicated to the programs that uh, the school district does and we can, we can help them out and enhance uh, any of their activities. And at this point, I just want to say a few thank yous as we conclude. Thank you especially to Carolyn Giambra. She's been the chair of this group. This she chairs this program and has done so for a number of years. And uh, she says it's like wedding planning. So everywhere you're sitting, she had to put together those, uh, those tables. And she does an absolutely wonderful job. And then I also want to thank the board itself, the Louisville Education Foundation Board. Uh, we're all community uh, volunteers, solely uh, who dedicate a fair amount of time to, because uh, we all support public education, specifically the Wiesel School District. And we feel it's very important. Many of the members have been on the board since the very beginning. 
Uh, so we have people who've been on the board 20 years, 10 years. It's a, it's a real commitment. The board was, uh, was founded. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a continuing tradition. My mother, Judy Katz, everybody else got the chance to thank their mothers. Like to do <laughs> And the, the people who really need the biggest thank you, I think, in this room, and I, we can see it from all the honorees, are the educators. The, uh, the principals, the, lead, the administration, and especially the teachers who taught all of us as we went through. I went through Heim, I went through Maple West, I went through Williamsville East. So the educators that brought this wonderful public education that then leads to the, uh, the honorees and the absolutely outstanding accomplishments and, and successes that we uh, have uh, achieved through our public education in the Winslow School District. Those are the people that deserve the biggest thank you. That's why we, the Foundation Board, ded dedicate our, our time and efforts because they get to bring this wonderful education through, uh, through all the years of uh, uh, a public school. And for that, we thank the teachers and all the other educators in the room. Thank you. At this point, thank you all for coming. Uh, we do this, every, this is a, a biannual event, so two years from now we'll be honoring new people. We're always looking, the, the honorees all come by nomination. So if anybody knows of somebody, a couple of years from now, feel free to nominate them. And then uh, if selected, they'll be sitting here two years from now. So thanks everybody for coming.